Hello, it's Nick from TV Priest and I'm going to be looking at this island uh, and showing you a little bit about the production and the elements and the recording process of that song. Um, so yeah, let's get straight in. So the song starts off with uh, these two synths here and they're quite quite simple, it's like slight chord movement, very similar, um, just panned left and right to create a bit of a stereo field. Yeah, and they're just kind of a lot of reverb and a lot of space to kind of allow it to create a bit of a stereo image and and, um, and a bit of space. And, and I think with this song, the, the, the kind of synth play quite a, an important role in that they're mimicking and um, and kind of reinforcing the lyrical content of, of the song. Um, this idea of kind of a slightly conflicted... Uh, society, uh, political climate, uh, strange sort of culture, I suppose. Um, and the synths, I suppose, in this song kind of play the the the, the merry-go-round, going a little bit insane, and 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 the world kind of oh, isn't everything wonderful and um, and and glorious and great? And they're kind of the 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 sarcastic element I suppose to the song whilst the music is very intense and conflicting with these two ideas and 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 it's that it's that kind of tension and release which the synths help create I think in um, in it, throughout the song and those those synths I just played are kind of joined by the, the that really high pitched synth which I'll play in isolation for you which is made up of a few different layers as well you can see there. Play those with the chords. And then in the context of the song. You know, they're out almost soloed just with the drums at certain points during the song. Um, and I think that that kind of like those little gaps in the bass um, and in the, and the guitar kind of create this tension and release that I was, I was talking about before. Um, there are other elements. Uh, there's some really interesting guitar work actually on this one. We, we don't tend to kind of double track any guitars, and we don't tend to kind of to kind of um, to kind of replicate or duplicate anything. If it's a gu main guitar line, it tends to just be a guitar line on its own and one recording of it. But in this one, we actually kind of layered a little bit uh, the guitar. So I'll, I'll play you. I'll play you some of the kind of doublings, I suppose. <laughs> and that, um, that guitar sound there is uh, well, this amazing pedal, which I'm not going to tell you about, but it's an amazing pedal, which is by a, a little um, Scottish guitar uh, pedal uh, manufacturer. He's fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's, it does all this nuts, um, nuts kind of like layering and oscillating of, 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 of sounds whilst distorting and like an octave and like a time delay. It's absolutely bizarre, but I'll play it. I'll play it on its own, so you can you can kind of hear it doing its thing. So yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty bizarre. It's pretty bonkers, but it's an amazing pedal. Um, and it's the key to our sound, so I shan't, I shan't reveal it. But you know, like a lot of these parts are really quite simple, um, uh, and and they're played with that intense effect. Um, and then yeah, and then I've got that double in, uh, which is Sprog playing um, playing the same line I think, or something very similar, um, kind of echoed in the right ear, 
um, with it, like some delays and a bit of reverb and a bit of more space. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, I'll um, I'll kind of show you uh, a bunch of the different parts. I'll kind of layer them up a little bit, and you can you can have a listen to the to the song. Anyway, hope you like the track, and I'll play you out with the with with the rest of the song now. 